catch me if I fall. Did we really land on the moon, or was it all an elaborate hoax to fool the world? A question that has captivated minds for over five decades. The year was 1969, and the world was engrossed in a race, a race to the stars. Nations were battling not just for technological superiority, but for ideological dominance. In the midst of this fierce competition, NASA, the United States Space Agency, declared a monumental victory, a man on the moon. But was it real or simply a grand illusion spun by puppeteers? Was it a triumph of human ingenuity or an elaborate ruse played out on a cosmic stage? The conspiracy theory suggesting the moon landing was faked has managed to persist, raising questions that demand answers. As we journey together through this examination, we'll confront these questions head on, challenging the narrative and examining the evidence. So let's delve deeper into this conspiracy theory and try to uncover the truth. What could possibly motivate NASA and the US government to fake such an event? Imagine, if you will, the world in the late 60s. The Cold War was at its peak and two superpowers, the United States and the Soviet Union, were locked in a fierce competition for global influence and supremacy. This rivalry extended into the realm of science and technology, culminating in what we now call the space race. The Soviets had the early advantage, being the first to launch a satellite, Sputnik, and later, the first man into space. The pressure was on for the United States to respond. The moon landing offered the perfect opportunity for America to regain its prestige and assert its technological prowess. The first nation to land on the moon would be seen as the unequivocal leader in space exploration, a feat that would inevitably boost national pride and global standing. But the stakes were even higher. The moon landing was not just about prestige, it was a statement of ideological superiority. A successful moon landing would symbolize the triumph of capitalism over communism, of democracy over totalitarianism. It was a chance for the United States to prove that its way of life, its values and its system of government were superior. However, the road to the moon was fraught with challenges. The technology was rudimentary by today's standards and the risks were astronomical. Failure was not an option, but success was far from guaranteed. Some argue that faced with such pressure, the US government could have been tempted to fake the moon landing. After all, the end would justify the means, wouldn't it? Yet, this brings us to a crucial question. Could these motives be enough to orchestrate such an elaborate deception? To fake an event of such magnitude involving thousands of people over several years would require an unprecedented level of secrecy and coordination. Would the US government be willing to risk everything on such a grand hoax? Or is it more plausible that they actually did land on the moon, as the vast majority of evidence suggests? But could these motives be enough to orchestrate such an elaborate deception? We'll delve deeper into these questions as we explore the alleged anomalies and counter-arguments in the following scenes. Stay tuned! Scene script. Conspiracy theorists point to several anomalies in the moon landing footage as evidence of a hoax. One of the main anomalies cited is the inconsistent lighting. Skeptics argue that the shadows cast by the astronauts and the lunar module don't line up with a single light source, implying the use of multiple studio lights. They question how, in the stark black-and-white lunar landscape, the astronauts appear illuminated even in the shadows. Could this be the result of additional artificial light sources? Another anomaly that has raised eyebrows is the absence of stars in the photographs taken on the moon. The pitch-black sky, devoid of any celestial bodies, has been a point of contention. Critics argue that such a starless sky is more indicative of a closed set than a genuine lunar surface, but is it really impossible for stars to be invisible in photographs taken from the moon? Then we have the famous waving flag. The United States flag planted by the astronauts appears to ripple in the footage. Conspiracy theorists argue that this is impossible, as there's no air or wind on the moon to cause such movement. They suggest that the flag's motion reveals the presence of a breeze in a controlled studio environment. But could there be another explanation for the flag's apparent motion? And let's not forget the identical backgrounds. Some argue that the same hills appear in photos supposedly taken miles apart, suggesting a painted backdrop was used. But could this be a misunderstanding of the lunar terrain and the effects of a telephoto lens? These anomalies, conspiracy theorists claim, are clear indications of a grand hoax. 
They believe these inconsistencies in the footage are not mere oversights, but deliberate mistakes, revealing the truth behind one of the greatest alleged deceptions in history. But do these anomalies indeed prove a hoax? Or could there be logical explanations? After all, isn't it also a monumental task to fake such an event with the limited technology of the 60s? As we delve deeper, we'll explore the counter-arguments and potential explanations that might just debunk these conspiracy theories. NASA and other experts have consistently debunked these anomalies. Let's delve into their rebuttals. One of the most common objections raised by conspiracy theorists is the issue of lighting inconsistencies in the photos and videos from the moon landing. However, NASA states that these inconsistencies can be explained by the nature of the lunar surface itself. The moon's ground, covered in a powdery substance known as lunar regolith, has the ability to scatter light in various directions, creating a phenomenon called Heiligenschein, which can account for the strange lighting in some photos. Another frequently cited anomaly is the apparent lack of stars in the photographs taken by the astronauts on the moon, but this too can be logically explained. The camera settings, specifically the fast exposure times used to capture the brightly lit lunar surface, made it impossible to capture the faint light of distant stars. It's a simple case of photography mechanics, not a grand conspiracy. The waving motion of the flag planted by the astronauts has also been a point of contention. Conspiracy theorists claim that the flag's motion suggests the presence of wind, which is impossible on the moon. However, NASA counters this by explaining that the flag was given a wire frame to make it look as though it was waving. The motion seen in the footage is simply the flag settling after being manipulated by the astronauts. The identical backgrounds seen in different photos have also been flagged as suspicious, but again, NASA has an answer. They explain that the Moon's surface is much more uniform than Earth's, and without familiar points of reference like trees or buildings, different locations can look remarkably similar. Finally, let's talk about gravity. The slow, bouncing gait of the astronauts has often been cited as evidence of altered gravity. NASA explains that this is actually how humans would move in the Moon's low-gravity environment, which is just one-sixth of Earth's. So, are these explanations enough to refute the conspiracy theory? Another point of contention is the missing original telemetry data tapes. Now, these weren't your typical cassette tapes, oh no, these were large reel-to-reel -reel tapes that held all the essential data from the Apollo mission. But guess what, they vanished seemingly into thin air. NASA admits they were erased and reused in the 70s, a time when data storage was costly, but doesn't that seem a bit convenient, a bit too tidy? These tapes held raw, unprocessed data. They could have provided answers to many of the questions we're posing today, but now we only have NASA's word for what they contained. This, of course, stirs the conspiracy pot even more. And despite NASA's explanation, it's hard not to wonder. Why would the original data from one of humanity's greatest achievements be discarded so casually? Is this a case of simple oversight, or is there more to it? Uh, some theorists even claim that renowned director Stanley Kubrick helped stage the moon landing footage. Kubrick, a master of the cinematic arts, had just created the visually stunning 2001 A Space Odyssey around the same time NASA was preparing for its historic mission. The striking visual parallels between the film and the moon landing footage have stirred speculation. Theorists point to the eerily similar lighting and shadow effects, the near identical lunar landscapes and even the suspiciously familiar spacesuits. But could Kubrick, who was known for his meticulous attention to detail and uncompromising vision, have been co-opted into such a grand deception? The theory suggests that his involvement would have guaranteed the convincing visual authenticity needed for such a monumental hoax. But it also raises questions about his possible motives and the risks he would have had to take. Could Kubrick have lent his cinematic genius to such an elaborate hoax? So have we landed on the moon or not? As we wrap up our journey, let's take a moment to reflect on what we've discussed. We've delved into the Cold War motivations, analyzed the alleged anomalies, and explored counter-arguments. We've considered the missing tapes and even the Kubrick connection. Yet the question still lingers in the air, a tantalizing mystery begging for resolution. Indeed, the conspiracy theory that the moon landing was staged presents some fascinating points.
The inconsistencies, the missing tapes, the alleged involvement of a renowned director, all these elements make for a compelling narrative. But when we weigh these against the vast body of evidence supporting the moon landing, the scales tip decidedly in favor of reality. Remember, extraordinary claims require extraordinary evidence, and while the conspiracy theory sparks our curiosity, it simply doesn't meet that high bar. While the conspiracy theory raises interesting questions, the evidence overwhelmingly points towards the moon landing being a real event, not a hoax. We've taken you on a journey to the moon and back through a landscape of facts, theories and conjectures. We hope you've enjoyed this voyage of exploration as much as we've enjoyed putting it together. If you're intrigued by the mysteries of the universe, the leaps of technology and the enigmatic corners of human knowledge, then our channel, The Future Tech Fusion, is just the place for you. We delve into fascinating subjects, uncover hidden truths, and challenge popular myths. So if you haven't done so already, please hit that subscribe button and join our community of future thinkers and tech enthusiasts. Don't forget to click the bell icon too, so you'll never miss an update from us. Sharing our videos helps us to reach more people and create more content like this. Please leave your thoughts in the comments below. We love to hear your viewpoints. And finally, a big thank you for watching and supporting our channel. Stay curious, stay informed, and we'll see you in our next video.